Hey guys, I'm Jake here from Arsenal News and Reviews, and Jake's Opinion. Um, I think I was feeling like doing a bit of a preview for the Arsenal versus Tottenham game that's happening in a few hours' time. It's going to be huge. Got to go to bed extra early so I can get up, watch the game, and then go to work. That's how great my life is. But I'm pretty confident about this game. We've played very well, apart from the first game of the season against Villa, and that was probably a lot to do with the ref, but let's not blame him. Let's just get into the into the probable lineups for the match. I'm thinking Arsenal are going to go in with a bit of a 4-2-3-1, so starting with Chesney, Sanya, Koscielny, uh, Murtisaka, Gibbs, Ramsey, Wilshere, Wolcott on the right, Rosicki in the middle, I'm thinking, Kozola on the left, and then Giroud because of Podolski's terrible injury, just when he was starting to hit form. Something happens. Same with Ox, and it's just our luck. Out for the match, though. We'll go with the injuries. Arteta's still got his thigh injury. Diaby and Ox have both got knee injuries. Podolski with the hamstring, as I just said. And Vermaelen with the back. So there's a few key players there that we've got out, but we can still field a reasonably strong team. Especially with the way Ramsey's been playing lately. He's just gone to that next level. Forget about him breaking his leg and all those years after where we were thinking maybe we should get rid of him. Now he's starting to repay the faith, and it's just great to see him kicking goals, a lot of people dying because of his goals, and hopefully he scores on the weekend and ends, you know, Justin Bieber. Um, for Tottenham, yeah, go with the boos, boo background. Um, probable lineup. I think they'll go with the 4-2-3-1 as well. Obviously no bail. they got Lloris in the back, Walker, Dawson, Vertonghen, Rose, Capu, Polinho, Townsend, Dembele, Shadil um, and Soldado as a striker. He's scored a lot of penalties lately. Hopefully he doesn't score one against us. Out, obviously, Bale. Lennon with a foot injury. Asuakoto, Adabayor with both kind of match fitness problems. And the ref is Michael Oliver. Uh, he's had one match this year for two yellow cards, no reds. So, who knows? I'm thinking we're going to get a few reds in this one. We always do in the Arsenal Tot Tottenham ones. There's always something going on. Uh, apart from team news, Laurent Koscielny comes back from a one-match uh, domestic suspension. Um, Flamini, Flamini could come into it. I think we've signed him. I'm not really sure. There hasn't been much talk about it, but I'm wondering if we might fit him on the bench because he wasn't listed there. And Podolski, unfortunately, will miss three months with a hamstring injury. Um, for my match notes, uh, no massive cash signings for Arsenal. It's going to be different look. Tottenham, uh, from the last time we played them, I think. Last time we played them, we lost 2-1 at uh, White Hart Lane. And before that, obviously, we know the 5-2 thumpings. Hopefully, it's like that again at the Emirates. We do like smashing them there. And I really like watching them smash them, like all Premier League supporters apart from Tottenham. Um, recent history between the two teams uh, suggests a lot of goals. 5-2, 5-2, there was a 4-3, four, four, three, or 3-2, three, 2-1. Two, three, two, There's been a lot of goals lately. And especially at the Emirates, last season it had the most goals out of any other stadium in the Premier League. And it's looking like that this year again. We've scored a lot of goals there. Uh, and the last five outings between the two sides at the Emirates has produced 30 goals. From just the, the last five between these two sides. 30 goals. That's an incredible average. Um, and just to close, I'm thinking my tip's going to be Arsenal 2, Tottenham 1. I feel like they'll get a fluky goal at some point in the game, but the way we, we've been playing lately against Fenerbahce and Fulham, I've been really confident that we're going to pass our way through their defence. Um, they're not stronger than last season, I don't think. They got Their wins haven't been that convincing. They've had, I think they've all been a basically 1-0, and I think they lost in the um, Europa League or wherever they played on the weekend to a really low team, or they drew. Um, so they ha their form hasn't been great. And I feel like our best, if we're on and we're passing and we're taking our shots and Giroud is on and making, you know, making some good runs, and Walcott as well, that we're going to be in good hands, especially with Kozola, Rosicki and Ramsey in the way he's been playing, and Wilshere. That's, that's a powerful midfield. And even, um, I forgot the manager from Fulham, whatever his name is, he said that we've got one of the strongest midfields in the Premier League, which was surprising for me to hear. But then when I heard why he said that, I kind of understood. He said that you don't know who to match up on. You don't know who is actually, you know, the defensive mid 
and you don't know who the attacking mids are because they're both they're doing both. One second Wilsh is going forward and making passes, the next he's going back and supporting the defense, and the Rams is doing the same. He's going back and then he's pushing hard forward. Rosicki the same, even Gazzola you see him pushing back a little bit, helping out the left back in Gibbs or Monreal. So hopefully we see more of that uh, in a few hours' time. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching my preview. Sorry if I've been putting up videos that often. I might be able to get one up after the game. Hopefully it's a good result. But I thought I'd do a preview. I don't really do many. Uh, i got a few stats in front of me here to help me, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like the video below. Comment who you think is going to win and why. Just general thoughts on the game. Nothing too crazy, but I'm open for anything. I'll comment all uh, comments. I'll respond to all comments. And also subscribe to my channel for all of my Arsenal videos in the future. Thank you very much, and have a good night.